Just before we start this video, I just want to say that in my last video and some other videos that I've made before, I have messed up on the editing where there's been like some parts where I say the same thing over again because I usually just edit that out, but then I forgot to do it. And I've done that like three times now, I think, in all these episodes I've ever done, which is not too often, but it's annoying when it happens and it really sucks for you guys to listen to that. And it's embarrassing for me as well. But the thing is, I, you know, record like 50 different clips and then I just choose the ones that I think are actually fun to watch and make a video out of. So, for example, maybe I record when I do farming, I realize it actually just sucks to watch and I remove that and then sometimes I remove parts and I think I removed everything that I should remove and then when I upload it I realize there is a small part where I didn't edit everything out but from now on I promise that will not happen if that ever happens again you can dislike the video on like 20 accounts no joke if I see a video where I mess up and there is actually fail in editing where I say the same thing like three times and I mess up and I didn't remove it Please make 10 accounts and dislike that video. Thank you. Well, this is going to be the end of the fate of the gods quest. Uh, I actually died twice during this quest, which is uh, unfortunate. I didn't die at the Nihils, I died at the Maha Rat, Maha fight. I, I don't know what the hell that's called, but the big boss that you have to kill Muspas at. So anyways, that's a shit ton of experience, especially magic. Now, I, I mean, magic is cool because I'm kind of going for 120. I have almost 43 million, but I actually really am happy that I can now make like the Nihil pouches and stuff like that for a rack so I can use that and uh, I can also use the Saros shard for like doing muspas in slayer assignments it's pretty good money so not too bad also the uh, elder energy so 250 quest points 77 agility which is very very neat um, but yeah we need like 20 more quest points and I can actually do wild gothic sleeves which is also uh, uh, insane it's really good Anyways, this is going to be the end of the Broken Home quest as well, which is absolutely due that I've done it. Like, I should have done this a long time ago because it gives an amazing ring. Also, you get some experience for it, so it's not that bad. A small experience lap, I thought you would get more than that, but... Yeah, let's see. Let's just put that in order to see how much we get. 6.4k, ah, that's pretty shit. Uh, we also get this ring, which is the main thing, but this one is not that good. Like, this Asylum Doctor ring is pretty bad, but you can do, like, a hard mode of this, and then you get the Asylum Surgeon ring, which is actually one of the be better rings in the game, so... Yeah, let's just let's just try and look up what the uh, hard mode is, and if it's not all too hard, well, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Fuck it, I'm just going to do it, because I'm going to get, like, one of the best rings in the game, so why would I not? Apparently, you needed to complete the quest again, and I did it in 31 minutes with an amazing guide. Now, I think if I leave now, that should be fine, because it says uh, I completed it in 31 minutes in the chat. So let's go down here to Maria and see if we can get the ring now. Also, I did get some uh, extra lamps here, I guess, so I'd like to claim the rewards. And uh, that seems to be it, right? So can we get the ring? All right, enough of There we go. Asylum Surgeon Ring, yeah, compared to the other one, there you go, this is tier 85 compared to tier 80, and this one, like, has a chance of not uh, draining any adrenaline when you use abilities, I think it's like, imagine getting an uh, ultimate ability out and it didn't drain any uh, adrenaline, it's pretty good. So anyways, I'm really happy I have that done, uh, you can get some more extra rewards if you want to, but screw that, honestly, I've done this quest twice now, 4k for that one, let's see how much this one is, uh, 51k, what the fuck? Wait, was that the tier... Wait, 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 how much is this one? 16k and the tier 6 one, I think is the highest one, is going to be 32k. Alright, so the other 51k lamp was probably something extra I just got in the end. Anyways, that is some awesome herb lore experience as well as one of the best rings in the game. Which I'm really happy I have now, I completed the broken home twice for it, so it was quite a lot of work for it. First the Raxor loot for the video, can we start off with something good, that would be great, and uh, I get so many magic seeds from Raxor, like I don't know why, but I just get so many magic seeds, it's going to be great for when I get 75 farming, but for now it's pretty useless. At least for the second kill, can we not have magic seeds, and that is not magic seeds, but it's pretty shit nonetheless. I have 22 minutes left on my aura and this is the third kill. I usually have like 10 minutes left, so it's pretty good. Like, I think the Cyrenic Helm and the uh, Surgeon Ring actually is doing something. So let's see what we get for the third loot. I will be able to do a fourth one. But for now, we get 10 rune play bodies. I need money. Not too bad. Six minutes left of the aura. This is definitely going to be the last kill for now. Let's see what we get. And we get two Onyxes. 
Perfect, I actually only have one in the bank and it's good to have as many as I possibly can get of them because I, if I get like way too many of them I can just allocate them for like a bunch of money so absolutely love that. I'm still doing all the dailies that I possibly can for herb lore and this is going to be the one that's going to give me 92 herb lore so I'm just going to show you guys that. 49,000 it was an extended challenge as well so I needed to hand in six of the extreme defense. I feel like it's worth it though like six uh, extreme defenses for 50k experience. Definitely worth it. So we hit 92 now and we can now make extreme ranging without boosting so that is pretty sweet. This is going to be the end of one piercing note quest line, which, well, not a quest line, but just quest. And I should actually unlock the illuminated book somehow from doing this. That's the reason why I did it. Also, it was two quest points, which is actually not that bad. Um, I don't know how to get the illuminated book. I thought you would just get it by completing the quest. Apparently, that is not the case, but it shouldn't really be that hard to figure out. So I'll just do it now. Well, apparently you need a full book completed, and currently I don't think I have pretty much any of the pages. I have two of them. Actually, I actually have two of them, so I only need the second one and the fourth one, and then after that I can make this into a, an illuminated book. And if you don't know what that is, it's just essentially more stats than just two prayer bonus. I think it's way more than that, and it's like stats in every single like magic, ranged, melee, and all that kind of stuff. I haven't really looked into it too much, but I know it's pretty useful. Um, but yeah, I can't make it right now, but as soon as I get the two pages, number two and, th uh, two and four, I can do that, and it's good to have it completed, so I can just do it whenever so that's cool last video i ended up having 61 kill count left on greater demons and i want to finish that now i do have 28 left so i've already been here for a while and i actually got a gown like just recently but i didn't record it because it's not that important because i already have it uh but yes i also do have a hard clue scroll and i might get you know it's a good chance of getting elite clue scrolls from here so i might get that as well uh but just to let you guys know i'm going to be doing slayer for a bit now and hopefully get some hard clue scrolls or elite clue scrolls so i can have a chance of getting a samurai page which is actually what i want to get now because an illuminated book would be absolutely sick but think about it this way i've done like 300 clues right i think i've done 300 hard clues ish and i've got two pages maybe a duplicate i don't really remember but it's not that likely it's going to happen i'll get the correct page i want but you know i'll tr i'll try to get it i'll try i'll do as many hard clues as i feel is uh, good to do in a video and uh, I enjoy doing and hopefully we can get something good from it if it's not a page at least something cosmetic or anything cool Unfortunately, no elite clues girls, but let's see what we get for the hard one. Please give me a page. We get two pages All right, so by the way, I have done 372 hard clues and also I got two bonus pages last video And I was like what the fuck I've never seen this before and then I saw a lot of comments saying that they updated it So you get like two pages a lot more frequent or you can start getting two pages now and due to that It's like way more frequent to get it now. I think I think this proves it I just got two of the same armadillo page now, it's it's not two different ones, it's literally the same one, so I guess it's just how it works, you always get the same one twice. Please correct me, let me know in the comment section, but it would have been great if it would have been a Samurai page, but it's an Armadillo one. I don't really know if I have this, I'm just going to run to the bank real quick and see if I do. That was a 2 million reward. Actually, do we, if that's the case, if you get, like, pages really frequently now because of an update, and you can get, like, two of them, that might be actually a really, really good money maker. That might be interesting to actually look into, but let's see if I have this. It doesn't seem like I have them. Nope, I do not. Armadillo page 2, Armadillo page 3, and Armadillo page 4. Wait, I have all of them. I can make an Armadillo pay uh, book. Wait, can I actually just go and get that even though I haven't finished this one? I will, I, I'm going to look into that actually. Wait, this is page number 3. Do I have that? No, I needed 2 and 4, right? First hard clue, let's see what we can get. Can we please get a page? That would be absolutely amazing. And we do not, but we get a cosmetic, which I unfortunately already have. I have, I think I have all the age items in the game. I think at least I do, because I've lined them all up, and it seems like I have all of them, so that's quite interesting. Otherwise, nothing too interesting. Alright, second clue, it's re-rollable as well, so let's see what we get. We get some purple sweets, some alkybles as well. Nothing interesting, just re-roll that real quick and see what we get. And we get a Gothic Play body. Now, I already have this one, so it's not that great. So let's go into the bank and I'll show you guys that I'm not lying. There you go. I have three of them, actually. Cabbage Plate body is what it's called. 
Now, if you didn't know this, if you complete a hard clue scroll or any clue scroll for that matter on Entrana, the chances of getting a weapon or armor of any kind is zero. You cannot get any of them. It's to prevent people from like going here, doing a clue scroll, and then being able to wear weapons on Entrana, which you're not supposed to be able to do. Now, I know that increases the chance of getting pages because it has to fill out the clue scroll somehow. I guess it also does increase the chance of getting like dice and stuff like that because that's not weapons. I don't know, but that might be the case, but I do know for sure that it does increase your chance of getting a page. Anyways, I'm going to complete the step here and see what we get, and we get another clue. Well, that kind of sucks. I wanted to complete it here, but now that I explained it anyways, I'll just stay it in the- stays in the video. Stays in the video. Well, at least now we have the casket, so let's equip the Ring of Wealth real quick and open this for... Uh, well, that's really bad. 69- always oh, has to be 69, fuck this game. Let's do these real quick. The first are absolute, 15 Sardom and some ores. Let's do the second one. Second kill of the trip, 57 kills overall, and the loot is going to be some shitty black dragon hides. I'm actually running really short on Kfish, so this is going to have to be the last kill for the trip. Let's see what we get. And we get some Runite or well, actually rock tails. Maybe I could do a fourth kill. Yeah, I'll do a fourth kill with these rock tails. I have some other ones in the bank as well. I read a comment that said, you sound like the bear from the Cleveland show. I've never seen that before, but I looked it up and I don't know, maybe I do. You can be the judge of it yourself if you're watching this video. Well, obviously you're watching this video currently and you can go and check it out. If you think that's, uh, that he's correct, then please let me know in the comments. Let's see what the last loot is. And we get uh, two Siren Gear. That's the best drop so far, I guess. Actually, the two Onyxes we got earlier in the video is uh, better than that. But any so many skills I can get is good uh, towards my tier 90 gears. Now and then I do AFK some ascension creatures. We can actually just quickly look at my current kill count. I think I have over 10,000 currently. I have 12,600 exactly actually. Cool. Um, but overall I just collect a lot of keys and I do have some that I do need the signets of. I still miss the Secundus one, the Sextus one and the Quintus one. And I happen to get a lot of the Quintus one which is the most annoying one to do and I would love a signet from that boss as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, these are the ones I've collected from just AFKing it casually. I get some Sirenity scales now and then, and I get some good defense experience. So let's just start off with the four Secundus keys and then the two Sextus and I'll end off with all the Quintus ones. I kind of forgot to swap my gear, I usually don't use the Death Touch, the uh, Amulet of Souls and the Sirenic Mask as well as the Asylum Ring. I want to use the um, Ring of Wealth here, but I still got really lucky. I, in four keys I got two Sirenic Scales, that's the most lucky I've ever been on Sirenic Scales, so maybe I'll just keep this gear for now. I think this gear is blessed, I just got another Cybernic Scale in two keys, so we have six more Quintus keys. Let's get a couple of more Cybernic Scales. That's all the legions I could do for now, I didn't get any more Cybernic Scales, but just the money and everything I get from this is pretty cool, pretty A-OK, -okay, but no signets from all those keys, and I currently have, let's just actually check how many legion kills I have if I can uh, not misclick anything. So let's go down here and go to legions. I currently have 189 kill count. So we're doing pretty good currently with three signets. I'm still happy with it, even though I haven't got one for a while. I've been thinking about getting into invention, by the way, but you need 80 smithing and 80 divination for that. And I only have 76, well, soon 77 divination, and I have 78 smithing. Now, I do have the smithing uh, supplies in the bank for 80. I could do it whenever I want to. And for the divination, I could also do that whenever I want to. It's mostly just to spend like hours and hours doing divination. And you could say you can just do cash every single time it's up. The thing is though, if I want to get into invention, invention in like the next week, I kind of need to actually train divination, that's just how it works. And I want to get into invention for the next video, so I'm kind of just going to go and train the shit out of divination, to say the least. So I'm just going to be doing divination probably like 10 hours a day uh, for the next days. And um, I'm going to just start the next video by being like 80 divination because I feel like that's a good way of starting it off so we can just jump straight into invention. Um, I'm also going to be training smithing obviously but I'm probably not going to show you guys any of that just as, uh, as I'm not going to show you guys any of the uh, divination just when I actually hit the end milestone. So I already have been training invention for a bit after Fate of the Gods. I have, as you can see, 12,000 Elder Energies, which I can also use to make these daily things for some more experience. These you can see here. Oh, I haven't done this yet, I should definitely do that. Um, but this is going to be the end of this video, because as I said, for the next like days I'm just going to be doing divination, so there's not much to show you guys. I'm still going to be doing my daily Araxor kills and stuff like that. 
But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, please leave a like. And if you wanna comment something rude to me, then do it. It's a free world, right? So do it. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and see you in the next one, guys.